For Michael, the window's now shut. What was mm. the overriding emotion uh, when it all came to an end? Yeah, probably a little bit of relief. Obviously, there was a, a lot of build up to the final day, and you know the possibilities of losing some of our you know most valuable players and key players and young players and players that we wanted to work with in the future. Um, so obviously, only to lose uh, you know Ryan Williams was probably more a relief, and and that's uh, obviously not being disrespectful to Ryan because obviously it's a fantastic opportunity for for him. And I think, obviously, under the circumstances, you know, whether we were in a good position financially or not, uh, the opportunity for Ryan to go to a to a club where they have a reserve team for one, a development group, um, a, a place where he could go and get some game time uh, and de develop his career. I'm not in the mood to start standing in front of uh, and stopping players uh, progressing. Uh, and we just, obviously, from that point of view, it worked out for everyone, and most importantly, him. Were you convinced at quite an early stage on deadline day that you'd be able to hang on to the likes of Joel Ward and Jason Pearce and Stephen Henderson and other players that have been linked with a move away? No, not at all. <laughs> no, you know, and um, you know, I, I just did, I didn't know what to expect to be honest with you. Um, you know, it was a it was a long day, a long day, frustrating day. Um, obviously, um, probably felt um, it was a situation where obviously you want to be. Wheeling and dealing, and and trying to do a little bit of business for for the benefit of everyone. Um, but it was a more a case of just waiting, listening, and you know waiting for information. And um, it ended up obviously turning out okay um, on the day because we got to keep you know the players that we felt that were in risk of, uh, of losing. So it worked out okay. And what about the, the politics in terms of the ownership? Has anything moved forward on that front at all now? Um, I'm not too sure to be honest. I think obviously, with obviously the deadline day stuff uh, happening, I think it took a, a little bit of focus away from obviously potential new owners um, coming into the club. Um, I'm told that you know it's still reasonably positive in terms of coming to a, an agreement. Um, so you know I'm just going to leave that in the hands of David Lampett and John Redgate and the administrators to get on with it and. Um, Hopefully one day getting farm is a little bit of good news on the horizon. Players have shown um, amazing strength and character over the last few weeks and literally over the last few days, you know, obviously um, you'd expect the place to be a little bit down and dour, but, you know, if you would have been in here probably a couple of hours ago, you'd probably see complete opposite. You know, we've got a, a good bunch of players, a good group of players. They're working their socks off for each other at the minute um, and they're in good spirits considering in obviously what's going on. You know, hopefully we'll go into the game on Saturday, uh, and I'm just hoping that, you know, we get somewhere near the full house. Um, you know, we've been working hard to try and make sure we get people through the gates at Fratton for this game, and obviously the Ipswich game. And if that is the case, I'm sure there'll be. Uh, if there's ever been a time, and I've probably said this before, and I, I you know, apologise for repeating it, where we needed a 12th man, um, then it'll be this weekend, and uh, I'm sure they won't let us down. They always seem to surpass themselves, don't they? You just mm. really think that you know they had so much thrown at them mm. that looking at Peterborough last week yeah. in particular, they were terrific, weren't they? Yeah, it was, it was fantastic, and I was I was shocked a little bit. I didn't, you know, when you, you walk out on away ground, you don't seem expect to see so many away supporters there, um, but to see him filled behind one of the goals, and obviously just to where I was standing on, on just to the left of me, there was you know a lot of uh, a lot of fans, and obviously half of them didn't turn up and until half time because of delays on the trains and stuff so they had a I think they had a good day all round um, and obviously the, the lads helped to cap it off with a great performance Yeah and, and nice to be taking that performance into the match against Hull now Yeah definitely obviously the players on the high from last week um, you know I think I said before the game the one thing that the club needs as a, as a whole is, a, is three points and I think I said before as well is that it was more than three points on Saturday um, it gave everyone the lift that, that we needed uh, we knew that it was going to be a difficult week this week. Um, so from that point of view, it was a, a, an opportunity to you know, put everything to bed on the field and, and I think that's what we did and hopefully we can uh, get a similar sort of performance and result this weekend. What have you made of Hull's progress under Nicky Barnley? Yeah, they've done great. I mean, obviously, um, you know, he took the club. You, know, the, you don't really, really get that many opportunities to take a club who are in the top six as it was anyway. Um, and doing well and young and you know full of you know good uh, potential um, top notch championship players and beyond obviously like him so fair play to him um, but he took the 
obviously the mantle from from Nigel and he's carried on obviously where Nigel left in terms of making sure that they stabilise in that top six um, and you know they've like I say they've got a young squad um, with a little bit of experience who who are doing very well with them and the likes of Robert Corran at the minute um, so you know expecting a tough game they don't very rarely, rarely get beaten in terms of well beaten uh, the games that they do lose are always uh, very tight. Um, and they don't concede many goals, so it's going to be a tough, tough test. Um, but we know a lot about them. We're very well aware of them, what their strengths and weaknesses are, and hopefully we can uh, work on a few of their weaknesses on Saturday. Mm.